Hey y'all, coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out at Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 1953 Chevy pickup truck I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Steve, what a uh, cool truck, brother. Thank you, Scotty, appreciate that. What is it? It is a 1953 Chevy pickup truck. Man, I really dig it. I love those wide whites. I think that the uh, steel wheels and the hubcaps, the stance is nailed. I wouldn't change a thing on this one. I like the gray wood that they used in the bed. Yeah, sits on the ground. It's got a, like I said, it's got a really good stance to it. Yeah. Low enough that you can drive it, no enough that it looks good. Right, no, I agree. I think that exactly, it's, you know, you, you can drive this one, show it, it'll always be cool. It's one of those ones that you can go out and build something else, but it doesn't make it cooler than this. Well, and, oh, yeah. and I hope it's something that whoever owns it takes it home and realizes it's done. Oh yeah, it's ready to roll. Right. <laughs> What'd y'all do on the inside? Well, we matched in. We did a two-tone black, and uh, it's got a grayish tannish interior. We did to sort of match the bed. You know, when the doors opened up, and you look at the bed, it all all blends in really nice together. So we did the whole top from the dash up, headliner and everything black, and the top of the door panels black with a 3D accent with the LED lights and stuff in it. So that makes the dash and the door panels look like they tie together. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's good, and the way you mounted the radio, you know. Yeah, was... they they are actually already had the radio in there, but that that was a good place for it because right. I mean, it's touch screen. You, it's up there where you can see it and everything, so we didn't really have to mess with that. And part. there's nothing else up there. If it wasn't for that, it'd just be the yeah the aluminum be, yeah. panels up there. Oh, I like how you built the air conditioning in below it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, we put the drop panel in it with the air conditioning the, uh, control knobs and the uh, vents on both sides, uh, so it, you know, actually blow in your face or whatever. But uh, yeah, the same thing with the, um, we built the console a little different on this and since we didn't have to put the TV screen in, we made a little bit lower profile with a slide door in the front to where you can put your cup holders, window switches and things like that in there. So since he already had the radio on top, we right. had a little bit more freedom to do Because most of the time you would have mounted the radio down below the air conditioning. Yeah, dogs, yeah, we would have. put it in the console. Every once in a while, I, I may get the saws all out and right. cut a hole in the dash or whatever. Right. But yeah, on For this the most one, part, you don't like to do that. Right. I got you. No, I like how you did the uh, chrome strips and the door panels, like I was telling you. It kind of looks like the old-fashioned pleats would have been in there, you know? Yeah. Kinda, I don't know. It kind of still gives it that metal door panel look to yeah. it, although a lot nicer. Well, thank you. Yeah, we like to use an aluminum rod and polishing it and drilling it, shaping it and bending it. Where, where we like. A lot of people come and say, where'd you buy that as? Well, it comes in a stick, and you have to bend it and polish it and cut it and bend it and make however you want it to make it look like you have to put the tips on it and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, we grind the tips down and just... Details that people don't even think. It's oh, not yeah. just getting a long bar of that and start whacking it up and no. sticking it on there. It's all got to flow. It's all got to be a purpose to be there. And the right side's got to match the left side. That's the tough part. <laughs> Opposite, though. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah, it turned out good. You know, like I said, we did the two-tone seats in it, too. All of it's hand-built, so if somebody asks you where you get those seats, they're right. hand-built. Right. Everything's hand-built. Uh, it's got a killer stereo in it. It's got a subwoofer in the back, six by nines in the back, five and a quarter or six and a quarters in the front under the dash. So it's all hidden. You, you really yeah, no, wouldn't you even didn't see, even see it. all that. Yeah, it I sure didn't realize I had all that. Yeah. And of course, we did the 3D headliner with the. Uh, we did it black. We did the opposite. We did black with the tannish grayish uh, insert in there with the metal polished in it. Also, looks really neat looking. And uh, all the LED lights just pop off of that. Right. That polished aluminum. It looks like almost the polished aluminum is lit up by itself. Right. No, I really like that that headliner too. I think that um, it's got a lot of definition in it and surprises you when you look up there you don't expect to see that 3d with the led lights in it and all that but it fits the rest of the interior perfectly yeah thank you and then we do a, we do a full wrap around around the back windows it's all that's all one piece around there that's covered in leather and that's that's a pain to do to right. a, so you take a piece of the plastic board and cut uh, the yeah, holes cut out it, of it and heat it and shape it and everything and then wrap it in leather and then wrap it in leather so yeah. that's actually a panel panel yeah that's all you can pull it out if you wanted to you know but all right you don't want to no i don't want <laughs> to i just bring it back to you there you go but what powers it you know it does have an ls and i'm not sure what ls motor it does have in it but it's it's a cool looking ls and to me an ls an ls i'm sure that's it's right. an ls3 you know right. so. Yeah, no, it's, it's really one everybody neat. likes to run if they have to buy one. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's a really nice truck. Do you think it's been done long? You know, I'm not, well, <laughs> we've had it yeah, done right. a little bit, so it's been done a little long. Didn't but, have an interior for yeah. a year, so. Yeah, Tim and Blake uh, Zumwalt brought it to us and just 
said, here, go to town and make it look good. So that's what we did. We took the privilege and doing it right, you know, doing the way we wanted it, right. but also the way they wanted it. And I sent them pictures. They absolutely loved it. Throwing away to pick it up now. So yeah. No, like I said, every time I come out here, and I've been coming out here for years, I, you know, I look at interiors and every, uh, you know, it just blows my mind. Every time I look in one, it's like, wow, wow, wow. And I really think you nailed this one. I say that about them all, but I really think you nailed this one. This it fits this truck well. I love the colors you use. I like the way that you cut into different colors. I wouldn't change a thing on this one. I'd just take it home and drive it forever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, a lot of people, they'll see a car like this on the internet or whatever, and then they'll call me up and say, hey, can you make me a dupli duplicate interior? And I'm like, we don't even keep the patterns. When right. we get done with this truck, we have to start all over with another truck. So right. whatever we ha whatever the next car is, we just start from scratch, making all new panels, making all new patterns, making all new design and everything. So you don't really have a, a cookie cutter interior. Like, you know, this truck won't have another... We won't do another truck with this exact same material. It'll be something different. Right. Know, so. Well, and most people do, don't realize that from back in the day, none of these things are the same. Right. They're all off by a little bit. And that's why when people say, Steve, can you do me a set of seats or can you do me a console outside of an interior, you're reluctant to do that because it won't fit right. Yeah, and the reason we don't do that is because every car is made different. They may be chopped. They may be channeled. They may be stretched. They may be bigger uh, floor pan or you know bigger tunnel. So it's just impossible to try to make anything. They're all different. Everything's all different, yeah. Well, I think you and the boys nailed another one, Steve. Well, thank you, Scotty. I appreciate it very much. So there you go from Steve Holcomb, Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1953 Chevrolet pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.